All right, new project in the house. This thing is large. Can't fit everything in the screen. But it's an old Curtis Maids cassette player. Right now, it's actually working as far as reverse, forward, and play. And all the buttons work. Everything works. The only issue is somehow when you power it on, the uh, meters or the voltage coming out of the speakers okay so basically your output here has a lot of voltage going out of it so something's wrong I think it's maybe the bias so I'm gonna open this up and take a look and see if I see anything out of whack but it ought to be a fun project I just finished uh, fixing a pioneer which is close enough to exactly this but a little newer, still in the 70s. But this one here, very rare, come across. Love this unit, has a lot of potential. Gotta get it working. Let's do this. All right, just took off the cover. Man, this thing is a time capsule and a half. Yeah, I see some bias pawns in here. Could be those. Let me grab a pointer here, a stick here. Here we go. So I'm thinking it's going to be the pods. Usually, it's those. Now, I'm speaking usually means in car audio, usually it's the pods. Uh, so I want to see why not one of these home uh, components is also you know, the pods. So I have to figure it out. I might have to plug it in and then um, mess with the voltage on these pods and see if the dials go to zero because right now they're just like tat, 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 tat. they're just tapping they're hitting at max it's crazy if you plug in the speaker I, I already blew one I threw it away I blew it it was loud very loud uh, it's actually dangerous uh, you can actually go deaf from that all right, I just gotta make a plan here. I gotta adjust the sliding. Okay, that's kind of all right, yeah? All right, here we go. Get that out of here. All right, so, all right, I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is just scan through everything and see if I see anything that jumps out at me. Let me check these belts. It's a little loose, that one, but it does work. Oh man, yeah, it's sloppy. Since I'm in here, I'm gonna change these belts out. That way, everything's nicey nice. Wow, it's crazy. It's so loud. Okay, it might actually be this board here as well. I wonder if there's a pod going to it. Yeah, okay, so these right here, there's two here. It might be this. Of course, I don't have this. Oh. Like I was about to say, of course, I don't have a schematic for this. And to get one, very rare. You're not going to find one for this. So, uh, it is what it is. It's an interesting little device right here. With this cable. Hmm. I got to be careful. I haven't discharged anything. One wrong slip. I'm going to get it voltage going up my finger yeah I want to say it's these two I'm gonna mess with these two and there's the other okay so it's actually uh, it's a MPX filter and this one is a filter so it might not, it might, it might not even be those oh uh, here we go oh here it is it's these two I'm gonna mess with all this yeah that working okay first things first I think I'm gonna before I even get to that I think I'm just gonna change the belts hmm I don't know do that now or do that second yeah we'll take care of this problem first and then the belt okay all right I gotta plug her in and I gotta mess around with the pods all right I think I found the issue I think it's these pods here. These are different from these other. 
ones yeah I'm gonna mess with this one this one's been uh, touched I think let me just see if I can twist it a little bit here yeah. hmm, seems like it seized up I got the power on too there we go I'm gonna try that that right there let me try Hmm, it actually seems nice. I don't know, that might have been a trick. Let me look at the meter. Oh yeah, wait, wait, no. What's going on here? No, still doing it. Still doing it, let me uh, press play. It's running on one meter now. I fixed one. I don't know how. I'm just messing with these other pods. And it kind of fixed itself out. This, this should be the one that's clicking. Yeah. I think it's a component. That's a shot. Ooh, you gotta be careful. Live voltage over here, guys. I just saw somebody walking to the door. Alright, I don't know. It's not looking good. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, these two are shot. This one, this one. And to find a replacement for that, forget about that. I'm gonna have to unsolder these two, take it all apart and clean the contacts. All right, here, what I'm doing is I'm trying to match the output here and the output here. Okay. I'm trying to get it to line up. How I'm doing that? With a little screwdriver with some insulation. It's powered on. Kids don't try this at home. Very dangerous. You can actually die. Touch the wrong capacitor. You will get shocked to death. Um, I'm going inside here. This motor. Right in there. There's a little hole. And I'm twisting this and trying to figure out the speed of which the output is so I can match it that YouTube video. So let's take a listen. Now oh, we're gonna listen to this one. Very close, huh? I think I'm there. So uh, I'm just going to mess around with that a little more and then we're going to take a look at it momentarily with everything back on it. Power it on. Let me grab a tape. Play. Money. I encourage you to meet each other and form a little group. Meet with two people. Meet with three people. Just Put only 5% in gold. I encourage you to meet each other and there are 15 stock rates in the industry. How much am I? Am I 
what is this? Everybody thinks negatively? Now, to put another tape in. Like the tape, and I have three of us. It's a little stiff. I don't know if it's uh, messed up. But, but, could be the tape. I just pressed. I just played all three, and it was working. Hi, I'll put. Huh? Let's go back to uh, one of these random ones. Actually, that one. It's talking about money. This one, yeah. Everything's working. Right? 